This, ladies and gentlemen, is my welder. Uh, it's an entire piece of crap I got for free. Now, I think it's a 70 amp rated MIG. I've got some very cheap flux core wire loaded into it. Uh, and uh, it doesn't work properly. Uh, it doesn't feed the wire very evenly. And so I think I'm going to try and remedy that since I'm going to need it for some stuff soon. Uh, so, but I think it would have a little look inside what a really cheap, probably Eastern European or Chinese welder looks like. So, what do we have? Giant transformer, of course, with what seems to be a big coil on the output contactor there. That looks way more modern than the rest of the thing. Way more modern. And uh, here's that rectifier. Looks like a big old school rectifier. So it's going to be putting a DC. I know nothing about welding, so that's probably obvious to some. And uh, there's a little motor control board for uh, adjusting the speed of a motor. Uh, it looks really cheap and nasty, but the potentiometer doesn't feel bad, and uh, it's loose, okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, it doesn't really seem like an electrical issue. Uh, so all the joints look uh, relatively fine. So I think the issue is more likely to be actually inside the this little gearbox assembly, which goes to the wire feed there. All rusty and horrible. So yeah, I think I'm going to stop by just taking this apart and giving it a lube. And if you're curious as to how it works now, let's uh, see if we can demonstrate it. Is it even going to work now? I don't know. Yeah. That's feeding more evil than it usually does now, actually. But yeah, you can hear... That assembly doesn't sound too happy. So I'm going to take it apart anyway. It certainly doesn't work very well at high speeds anyway. Alright, and apart she comes. I've got no idea if this is going to spring into a million pieces. No, it looks like we just got a bit of a motor and a couple of cogs. And that looks like someone's squirted something a bit too thin in there. Yes, I'm going to try and just uh, grease this up with some thicker, better stuff and perhaps it'll make a difference. Oh yeah. This is not lube anymore. That is nasty. It's just turned into wax, basically. Yeah. To quote to Jamie Heineman, when in date, grease. Mm. All right, so let's see how it sounds. Ah, uh, that's slipping pretty bad, so let's just uh, increase the pressure there a bit. Well, that certainly feels better. I still have to run it in the kind of budgy extra pressure setting there in order for it to grip the wire, but I think that might be just to due to this roller being a bit worn out. In fact, both rollers being entirely shot. But hey, if it works, it works. Sweet! So, I guess that means I have to try and weld something for you now, aren't I? Oh well. Alright, I often joke about not having any idea about what I'm doing, but this time I really have no idea what I'm doing. So, expect no miracles. Well, I do think these are somewhat joined together. And over here I think I kind of started to get some kind of a technique for the entire thing. 
And uh, certainly the welder isn't being a horrible issue anymore because I actually managed to maintain some kind of a steady arc uh, in this section when I got the settings kind of adjusted. You know, previously it would just kind of stop all of a sudden, no matter what you did, it would never ever ever work this smoothly. You know, unless you were using gas, but uh, yeah, I don't have any gas. That, that just probably gave me enough hysteresis to actually allow for the wire to just stop feeding. Sadly though, uh, this welder has this very odd uh, gas bottle on it, uh, which uh, you cannot get refilled and you cannot get replaced anymore uh, without spending a stupid amount of money, which I'm not going to do for obvious reasons. So, flux core wire it is. And I have no idea where the side cover of this thing is. I've never seen it. I don't know how it looks. But I think this is going to do for my project. So, thank you for watching. Cheerio.